Ecco. Welcome back to the channel. The situation is, I'm wild camping. I'm going up the mountain. I think there's gonna be snow, it's gonna be rain, it's gonna be the coldest night of the year. We've got about 1,000 meters of elevation gain, straight up, and my pack is absolutely fully loaded. I have all my winter gear. I've got some Wagyu steak and some delicious food for breakfast. It's gonna be cold, it's gonna be hard, so gonna have to take this walk easy, but I'm happy to be back out in the bush climbing the mountain again. So I better get up to camp before this rain kicks in. It's already spitting now, but I'll see you back up there. This is gonna be tough. All right, everyone, I've made it into camp. As you can see, I'm pretty sweaty. Kind of wet myself with sweat, which is gross, but. The rain held off for most of the walk up, which is good, and I'm feeling quite nice, apart from it's freezing cold. It's like I'm inside of a fridge. So I gotta get my rain jacket on, uh, get the tent up, pack off, all that stuff, and get myself warm. But I'm feeling pretty good, it's good to be up here. Um, yeah, great conditions. Check this out. Ooh, <laughs> that's nice. The Helleberg Nyak, the ultimate tent to set up. Poles in the sleeves, popped up, good to go. Gotta pick it out now. I don't think there's gonna be too much wind, so I'll still guide it out, but I'm not gonna stress too much about the perfect setup. But man, my fingers are freezing. I'm not used to this cold. Look, they're going white. Rain started to come in, and some wind. Got to get the tarp up now. Get all my shelter set up and everything, everything ready for relaxation. Getting pretty hungry too. I've got my um, Alton 3x3 tarp for this trip. It's a workhorse. I'll set it up just straight up here and kind of like an A pitch. Man, it's getting cold. Got to get onto this quickly. Use this stick to prop the tarp up. Found a dead one in the bush. Nice. Oh yeah, that's pretty good shelter. Check out the setup. Heaps of open room, perfect view out here, nice rain falling, and it's freezing cold. Couldn't be any better. Look at this massive shelter. I don't know why people don't camp without tarps. It's so much better. Anyway, I need to get warm. It's so cold. 
Get my stuff in the tent, get some warm dry clothes on. I gotta be real careful of my back. If you guys didn't know, I injured it a couple camps back. So this is my first wild camp up in the mountains. I'm just being real careful and moving slowly so I don't hurt it anymore. But it's feeling good, okay, uh, feeling good so far. And I think I'll be able to manage. Oh man, that feels good to sit down. <laughs> That's amazing. My fingers are numb. It's not snowing yet, but it's very, very cold. I hope it does snow though, that would be awesome. Man, there's a real nice rain coming down. Got the Nemo tensor for this truck. Very warm, comfortable pad. Get that inflated. I'm starting to shiver and get my <laughs> got my big UGQ quilt, which will get lofting up too. Mega loft. Got a dry base layer on, just a merino. Instantly feels better. And we get this on, the big down jacket. This thing's like instant relief, man. You can probably hear from my voice. I'm shivering a bit, which is fine, I can handle it. Oh, get up. Oh man. Now we're talking. Need to get a hot cup of coffee on, have a biscuit, I think. But we're all set up, we're here, it's raining. I have a nice configured tarp. And it's getting colder and colder and colder. I'm gonna have a little fire, because there's no longer fire season inhibited. So I can have a little one down there in front of me after I get some energy back and gather some wood. Cheers everybody. I'm gonna save the sophisticated coffee for breakfast I think, so this is just some instant mocha and cappuccino blended together. <laughs> Man I'm shivering, I gotta warm up. Look at this. Got some digestives. Ooh, to help with my digestion. <laughs> this will be nice. My hands aren't working properly. Two digestives stuck together. Class. It's warming me up. Instant. I'm high up here. It's like inside a snow cloud at the moment. Although it's not snowing here, I think it is further up. Hopefully it cools down more and some ice starts to fall. That would be the ideal scenario. I'm saying that while I'm shivering. I feel way better now. Stabilise the situation.
rain's coming down pretty heavy. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear my voice too well over the heavy raindrops. But I've just been chilling for a bit, had my noodles, warmed myself up, feeling pretty good. So I think now I'm going to get some stones and make a little fire pit out in front of me here. And then maybe get, yeah, chop up some wood and get some fire going. Most of this wood's just real wet, even though it's been summer, it's just sodden. That's what New Zealand's like up here in the mountains. It's just damp all the time, so it's not a complaint. I'm just telling you guys, it's just wet as. So I've got a bit, enough for a fire. I'll chop this up slowly, I'm not gonna go crazy. <laughs> no smashing the wood. Let me get back under the start. Fire out. I need a bigger saw for this. I love breaking wood up in the rain. <laughs> this might not look like fun to some of you. But I tell you what, it is being out here and playing with wood. It's terrible. It's so damp. I reckon I'll be able to get it going though. I am the wood king. Before I light the fire, I'm gonna go down to the tarn and collect some water. The rain's eased up a bit and it's kind of clearing. Which is not, not bad, you know. It's still freezing cold, but I'm super warm now because I've been like running around getting all that wood. But we'll go down, we'll see the tarn, get some water, and we'll clean everything up. I think we'll get the fire going. But the tarn should be good because there's been quite a bit of rain, so hopefully the water's not all festy. It's a bit gross, but if we boil it, we probably won't die. Man, that wind's brutally cold. Not sure what the wind chill is, but it was forecast for like negative 10 up in the tops up there in the morning. Well, look at this, just fully clagged in. It's pretty cool up here. It's like another planet. I'm going to attempt to get this fire going. I got myself a giant chunk of fire starter. Possibly a bit excessive, but the wood is absolutely saturated, so I just want to make sure everything's wet up here. <laughs> 
New Zealand bush. I reckon that'll do it though. We'll see. <clears throat> I'm happy the fire bands are finished. Camping without a fire kind of sucks. So now it's just going to get wetter and colder as we go into winter. Which suits me. Hopefully it doesn't smoke too much and it can dry me out. But I think that's going to go pretty good. There's a lot of fire starter in there. But as this is catching, I have a very important and special announcement to make. Some of you guys probably know what it is. I know that in the comments um, there was a lot of speculation around this topic. Um, I didn't respond to pretty much any of these comments because I got a bit ahead of myself and got a little bit excited and kind of let a few things slip that I probably shouldn't have. And I got in trouble with Victoria for that. Um, but yeah, Victoria is pregnant and she has been for about 13 weeks. <laughs> So that's why she hasn't been on as many of the camps. Um, she really wants to and she's kind of missing it a lot. So at least she can watch the videos. But yeah, that's the reason. So don't have to get upset that she's not here. She's actually producing a baby at the moment inside her tummy. <laughs> so that's the special news. Um, thank you to everyone who's congratulated us already. I really appreciate it. Uh, I didn't respond to you guys because, yeah, like I said, I kind of shouldn't have been saying that that early on, apparently. But I got overexcited, as I usually do. But yeah, it's pretty exciting, kind of scary. Don't really know what's going on, but such is life. So a lot of the people watching, a lot of the subscribers and regular viewers, they're quite a lot older than me and have quite a bit more life experience. So everyone who has had kids is gonna be able to give me heaps of tips on what to do and how to deal with it. Whoa, that was close. But, you know, it seems to be nature, you know, you just adapt to the situation. Hopefully it's not too tough. Victoria's having a bit of a hard time at the moment. She's um, pretty much spewing every day, which is kind of sad, but She's doing a great job. <laughs> so yeah, don't really know what to think about it. I actually try not to think about it too much because soon I'm gonna be thinking about it non-stop. It will be all consuming, but overall it's pretty exciting. I've got a feeling it's gonna be a male. I'd be surprised if it was a female. So I'll be able to take little kid camping in a storm when they grow up. <laughs> But anyway, that's my news, and I hope you like it. Forgot how nice it was to have a fire. It's just amazing sitting up here, freezing cold, under my tarp, cozy with a fire. This is what it's all about, camping like this. I think it's going pretty good now. Simon's put out some nice heat. I'll just monitor it for a bit and then I'll do dinner soon, I think. Getting pretty hungry. I have a Wagyu steak and some mashed potato and bacon. Oh my goodness, I've never seen a wicker here before. I'm cursed.
that wicker it doesn't know how to keep its distance, I tell you what. It wants my food. But you're not supposed to feed them. They're a native species to New Zealand and they're protected. So I can't eat it, I can't kill it, and I shouldn't feed it. I just have to be on high alert. That smells incredible. I've got some thyme from the garden at home and a clove of garlic from my parents' garden. Wagyu steak with heaps of butter. The smoke's going by the camera. And yeah, salt and pepper. It smells out of this world. I think that's done. Oh man, the aromas on the mountain at the moment. <laughs> I'm just going to squeeze all of this onto the plate. Oh, there's heaps. Good, I'm so hungry now. Big thing of mash. Get the steak. It's a Wagyu steak with bacon, mash, thyme, and garlic. Subscribe and smash the thumbs up for this dinner meal and that Victoria's pregnant. <laughs> if you watch the videos and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Victoria's pregnant. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh, this Wagyu is so, it's so juicy. It's all come together perfectly. Campfire, it's a bit smoky, but it's putting out so much heat. This meal. I mean, rehydrated mash. It's just as good as normal mash. This is like fancy mash, so... I don't see anything wrong with it. I could bring up a huge cauldron. Heaps of potatoes. Boil heaps of water, mashed potatoes, bring up a ricer. But I think that's a bit over the top for camping on the top of a mountain. It's like being in a restaurant. You gotta see this. Look at all that butter, the wagyu, garlic, thyme, the mashed potato. I'm a happy, happy boy. I've never seen a wicker up here before. I'm not very happy about it. It stresses me out. And yes, I know I'm in the habitat, but this is also my habitat. I'm a part of nature. I am nature. Nature man. Oh, 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 oh. This is the best camp meal I've ever done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm sorry for, but it's better than burgers. I'm sorry to the burgers. Look at this bird. No way. I'm gonna finish this and just indulge, guys. Thanks for coming. Really appreciate your support. Massive shout out to channel members, everyone who subscribes, likes, and comments on the videos. Man, Victoria, really appreciate it. And. I appreciate this dinner.
Just gonna quickly get a bit more water and see what the sunset's like. It's amazing up here. Clouds rushing around. I think there's some snow on the hills further that way. But it's just absolutely gorgeous and very, very cold. Wow, amazing. There's snow back there on the peaks and it's very dark out this way. This is nice. There was just some ice falling from the sky when I was back up on the ridge. There's like a snow cloud coming in. Temperatures really drop. You just hear it gently hitting the tarp. This fire's been exquisite. Look at that. So much heat coming off. I've dried out completely. This camp has just turned into an absolute 10 out of 10. Minus a huge snow dump. Let's get the kettle on. And make us a nice tasty hot chocolate. Oh, it's just so nice having a campfire. That's that's putting out so much heat. Look at it. It's amazing, man. Whoa. There's something about campfires. What a camp. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I have pancakes for breakfast too, so the morning should be freezing with a delicious breakfast and just I think it's gonna clear up so I'll go up and I'll show you the views up on the ridge again it should be amazing in the morning and just real cold and real crisp I got this all this wood here so I might do a little fire if I get up early It'd be quite nice but yeah I just I'm real happy that I made it out and I haven't hurt myself yet my back's feeling pretty good well it's stiff and quite sore but I've just been nursing it and I've managed to, you know, make do. Oh yeah, I can smell it. Creamy cocoa. Give it a good stir. Time to get these waterproofs off. They're fully dry from sitting next to the fire. Get the boots off and rest my back a bit. Yeah. Alrighty, I'm inside the palace. I've got this um, Alpha Direct fleece thing on. I really like sleeping in this. It's warmer than Merino and it's real soft. Plus it's got the hood which is like just enough to keep my head warm and my neck warm in the quilt. It's like a, it's an awesome combo. It's lightweight, it's like 150 grams and it dries out super quick as well. And it keeps my hair from hitting my face, which is an added bonus for me. <laughs> but look at this, eh? Look at the inside of this tent. Got my little fairy lights, got the massive quilt. My fire's still going outside and it's just bitterly cold, but I'm cozy as. Couldn't be happier. But I might just lie here for a bit, chill out, watch the fire die down, and have a chocolate bar. I've got, where is that? There's a chocolate bar somewhere. I brought it up here, so I may as well eat it. Oh yeah, I'll eat it. I have to get up and brush my teeth. It's a dark Ghana. Some dark chocolate. It's like frozen. <laughs> oh. Anyway guys. 
Now I'm gonna go to sleep. Eat this chocolate. It should be a good sleep when I come back to you tomorrow. Hopefully it freezes. I want my water bottle to freeze. It would be the ideal scenario. But anyway, I'll see you in the morning. Good night, everybody. I just woke up and it's snowing. It's snowing. <laughs> it's settling on the ground too. Well that's pretty exciting. It's very, very cold. I'm gonna try and go back to sleep and hopefully there's more in the morning. everybody it's 7 p.m. and it's absolutely freezing cold I was real cozy in the quilt there's quite a bit of condensation down the foot box of it but there's just a tiny bit of light coming up in the sky now and yeah it snowed a bit overnight there's some snow on the ground but it's just gonna be such a crisp and cold morning which is awesome so obviously it's time to get a coffee on. So I'm gonna do that, relax in the tent for a bit, keep myself warm, let this down jacket loft up, and then I'm gonna venture outside. I can't wait to walk up onto the ridge and see, see the mountains and just see how crisp the sky is gonna be. This is the coldest it's been so far this year, definitely. You see all the steam coming off everything. This is like a nice little taste of winter. Morning brew. I think I need a warmer sleeping pad. This Tensor uh, insulated 4.2 R value. And I could just kind of feel the cold coming in on it. I reckon it was probably negative 3 centigrade last night. So it's probably pushing it to its limits. The quilt's rated for negative 18 comfort. Although I wouldn't say that that's accurate. I'd say it's probably like negative... 15, 12 ish, negative 12 probably. So the quilt was definitely warm enough, but yeah, I might get a new pad. Nemo has a new pad with an 8.5 R value, and there's also the, what is it, the Thermarest Neo Air or something, X Therm, which is 7.5. Everyone says that's super warm, so I'll probably get one. I do intend to camp on like the tippy top of a mountain buried in snow, in like a snow cave or something this year so I'll need something super warm for that I made myself a second brew it's just way too nice to not do it fly here have coffee in the tent and the quilt looking out at the snow on the trees the light coming up it's just incredible after that I've got my uh, maple syrup and pancakes the brand of maple syrup is called whole Harry's I think it's it's a hundred percent Canadian let me know if that's a brand that you guys have it's in our supermarkets here it's quite nice. Nice, deep, rich, sweet, maple flavour. Oh, this is good. Just walking down out to the tarn. The tarp is completely frozen. All the water and rain is frozen to ice and there's a bit of snow and everything, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> it's definitely cold, but it's gonna be incredible out here. Can't wait to show you guys this. Oh, oh man, this is amazing. Some nice ice on the tarn. Oh. 
Well, I'm up on the ridge and look at this. It's like a frozen paradise. <laughs> oh, I just can't believe it. How amazing it is in New Zealand. Like, look at this stuff, man. I'm the only person up here. There's no one around for miles. Just me and the birds and my coffee and frozen grass and mountains. It's so cold, man. My fingers. Look at these peaks, the light on the trees. There's like no wind. Incredible. I'm gonna head back to camp and get my breakfast on. I might light a little fire just because it's so cold and I've got a bit of wood. I'm not gonna rush back today because I've got no jobs I have to complete. So I'm just gonna hang out up here and enjoy enjoy this because this is just amazing. It's so fresh and so nice. I love it when it's like this. Trusty fire starter. Damn, it's too cold for the lighter to work. There we go, got it. The tarp's completely frozen. Raining ice. The wick is back. Look at them. If it wasn't illegal, I'd probably roast them on the fire, have them for breakfast on my pancake. How's that ash for breakfast? <laughs> The wick is underneath the camera. No, don't pick it. <laughs> oh man, silly bird. Little bits of snow and ice falling off the trees with the breeze. Looks amazing, the light hitting it. Little shards of ice. Third coffee of the day. This pancake's gonna be nice. I think I may have put way too much water into the pancake mix. <laughs> it's quite runny. Someone told me last time I did the pancakes in a video, the best way to flip them is you put it out onto the plate and you just flip it from the plate. That works perfect. I mean, why didn't I think of that before? <laughs> 
obviously not the ultimate bushcrafter if I can't even work that out. Seems to be cooking quite nice. I've probably got enough for three. I'll probably cook them all, eat them all. I have heaps of maple syrup, so. Ah, oh, it'll be lovely. See my breath. I think it's like negative three degrees up here. Yes. Skills. Okay, I gotta give you the close up of this one. Buttermilk pancakes. Triple layer. Triple layer stack. This will give me heaps of power to get back down the hill. Ooh, they're nice and fluffy. Mm, Bellbirds. This may be the best camp I've ever done. This is incredible. That maple syrup. Oh. Man, I love camping. And food. Camping and food. Well, that's breakfast complete. <laughs> that was immense, delicious. I'm so full now. I've just been sitting here relaxing with a full belly, just watching the snow melt off the trees. It's quite amazing. Fires died down, and the sun's coming high up into the sky. So I suppose it's probably time to pack up soon. I'm in no rush, so I'll just do it slowly. And then it's the great trek down the mountain. <sighs> Got to be careful when doing that because the back's still a bit stiff. But Man, this camp was absolutely epic. I'm so happy that I came up here. It's amazing. And I've, I've said it so many times, but it truly is. It's just, it's a spot that everyone should get to, I reckon, if they can, up into the mountains for some snow. But yeah, I'll begin the pack down and I'll come back to you guys on the trail, I think. I'm gonna take in this ambience for a bit. That was a good pack up. We're back on the track. The pack's feeling pretty light after all the food's gone. I'm carrying no water. But the tarp is soaking wet. So it probably weighs like a kilo. That was an epic camp. Super happy with it. Super happy with the Z Packs backpack. Takes the weight well and it's extremely light. There'll be a link in the description so you can check out Z Packs if you want. The <clears throat> they make good stuff so. If you're after a pack, I'd highly recommend this arc haul. But it's going to take me probably two hours down. I'll just be real careful, take it slow, enjoy the scenery. But man, that was cool. Super happy about it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed that camp.
And if you did, subscribe. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna carry on back down the track. I got a ginger beer waiting for me in the car, so that's gonna be delicious. Back down in the wagon, got my ginger beer. These things, man, Bundy's. So good after a trip. It's about a two hour drive home. Now I'm gonna get straight into the bath and just soak myself because I'm quite sore. But 10 out of 10 trip. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye bye. Cheers.